This year's oil market ups and downs have been enough to give you whiplash. So what's going on? Well, for most of this year, oil prices were climbing steadily, fueled by concerns over sanctions on major oil producer Iran and falling oil stocks. We've already reduced Iranian crude oil exports by over a million barrels per day. That number will fall farther. As recently as October, oil traders were betting on a return to $100 a barrel oil. But not anymore. Investors and oil traders have changed their mind about the state of the market, and prices have plummeted. Concerns over tightening supply have been replaced by fears of slowing crude demand and rising output. We, we oversupplied the market, and they just admitted and cause them, you know, the inventory builds. So why all the drama? The industry has always had its ups and downs, but this time around, it's dealing with new wild cards. And the most significant ones are made in the USA. First up, there's way more oil sloshing around the market than people predicted. The main reason? Booming oil production from US shale producers. America's oil production has surged this decade, helping global crude supplies outpace demand and putting pressure on prices. In fact, this summer, the US surpassed Saudi Arabia and Russia to become the world's largest crude oil producer, a title it hasn't held since 1973. Historically, OPEC, a group of large oil producers, has tried to control market swings, but they have no influence over American output. Another big wild card, President Trump. I'm not looking to be a great hero and bring it down to zero immediately. I could get the Iran oil down to zero immediately, but it would cause a shock to the market. In October, the prospect of tightening U.S. sanctions against Iran helped push the price of oil up to its highest level in four years, Iran being a major oil producer. But the U.S. granted more leeway to some buyers than had been expected, opening up the prospect for more Iranian oil to make it to market. Then there's the president's support for oil giant Saudi Arabia, following the scandal surrounding the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Saudi Arabia, uh, if we broke with them, I think your oil prices would go through the roof. I've kept them down. They've helped me keep them down. That's also helped pressure prices amid broader jitters that a global economic slowdown could hit demand. Trump hasn't been shy about weighing in on the oil market either tweeting out his support for lower prices and threatening OPEC. What's in the hands of the, uh, of the United States president when a president in the world is outside our control in OPEC and we will, uh, we will deal with the facts as much as we can. So are lower oil prices here to stay? Not necessarily. OPEC and its partners are considering fresh action to control supply, a move that, at least for now, could stabilize prices. 